Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and I'm calling you uh, Hollywood screenwriters out. I'm calling you out for your lack of originality. You know, I'm probably the only guy on YouTube who's doing anything original. I love these Star Trek remakes and stuff. Uh, Star Trek continues and such. I love them, but they're not original. I mean, they're based on a TV series, so it's been done. That's what I mean. Some of the stuff, in fact, most of the stuff I'm doing is original. It originated and inside my head is plots and themes for movies. If it's political, you'll know it. But my dramatic, dramatic science fiction horror stuff all originates inside my head than the subject. Uh, that's one thing you can't say about you people. You keep recycling same old gar garbage all the time. Which homosexual is banging down which tranny or you know who's shooting up a restaurant. And then you turn around and lecture me on gun control. Well, it doesn't work that way. So, let's move this along. When have you people ever even done a scene like this? This is the medical ship. The, is that medical ship? Yeah, this is a medical ship and, uh, that I'm using. Now, a lot of the props are pre-made Star Trek props. But I don't have time to sit there and design my own ships. Even though I probably could, but I don't have time for it. So I'm pr I'm content for use pre-made stuff. I don't have a problem with that. <sighs> but you people are not doing anything original. I don't think you've done anything original since I don't know, maybe nineteen sixties. Something that's new and different that hasn't been tried. That's what you call original. The plot of this movie, this movie is called Science Corps, The Demonic Possession Chronicles. And I'm not, I'm an agnostic, I don't even believe in demonic possession. I don't believe in demons either. Well, I'm not going to go there. When have you people ever come out with anything like this? The plot of this movie is so outrageous that you just have to watch it to believe it. And that's the idea. It's something brand new that's never been tried. And the women in your movies look pretty ugly for the most part. You know, I haven't gone out to a movie in like 10 years or so. Uh... I don't know, other than, you know, documentaries, because there's just it's nothing new. It's the same recycled crap. No original plots. And it's all political. This movie does talk about religion, but it's not political. And it will shape, it will definitely uh, challenge you. It'll definitely challenge what you think and think you know. It goes for you Christians too, by the way. <laughs> Just you wait. This is perhaps my favorite scene. You have to watch it to know what's in it, but uh, that scene was fun making. Another. Uh, you know, seen on a medical ship. There are always things in my movies that surprise people. See, you people in Hollywood, you have the greatest of technical ability, and you have great scenes, you have great props, but what you don't have is imagination, and that's one place. As far as original plots, that is the one area where you people cannot compete with me. 
Nobody watches my stuff, hardly. Very few people. We have a few people do. But, uh, and thank you very much for watching. But, here's the thing. You people in Hollywood, you're just putting out all recycled stuff. Nothing new. I guarantee you, the plot of this movie is so outrageous that you... People are going to be asking, what the hell? Uh, maybe I shouldn't say that. That was Preachers. That's Sally Davis, uh, executive officer of the uh, ship. So my advice to you people... If you can't come up with anything original, then hire somebody who can. And get the politics out of your movies. Come on. Like I said, my movie has religion in it. It also has science in it. And one spelling error, which I'm going to have to correct. But, uh, there's no politics in it. This is entertainment, and that's where you people are falling flat. You're not in the entertaining your audiences, you're indoctrinating them. That's the difference. And you people in Hollywood, you Hollywood scriptwriters, you are no competition for me. Oh, yeah, the small states in the scene, I made those. I don't know how to make the pointy end on them, though. Guess I learned that next week. Anyway, that's about it for now. You uh, Hollywood people, my, I suggest that you uh, hire some people who can actually do original plots instead of just all politics all the time. And, you know, instead of just who's betting who down. I don't want to hear it. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.